yo yo what's up guys and welcome back to the channel in this video i will be talking about the fv215p reviewing this tank showing you how to play with it and what can we do with this vehicle on the battlefield so it's a pretty nice heavy tank uh we can play it held down we got a strong turret on it we got a fast reload time for a heavy tank 7.4 seconds of reload time using gun roma we have a really nice also a dpm 3.2k of dpm and we don't need to use calibrated shells because we really have a good penetration without calibrated shells if you use go for calibrated shells we will have 342 of penetration with premium shells and that will really do the job to penetrate most of the heavies and 10 tds uh, an insane also precision 0.272 of gun dispersion that's really insane i'm going for the improved assembly here because uh, whatever you do with or without uh, we cannot maximize our armor a lot that's why better to have more hit points and with that going for nearly 2.6k of hit points uh, i'm going for improved modules enhanced tracks improved optics engine accelerator and with that you will have 33 um, kilometer per hour of average speed and the high-end consumables provisions i'm definitely going for this one for the enhanced sandbag and with that we will have six percent more to our hit points that means 138 more hit points putting in tea and uh the improved fuel and that will give us two kilometer kilometer per hour is more of average speed so it's actually really uh a fast heavy tank compared to other heavies in this game to the consumables i'm using the multi-purpose restoration pack but for that we really need to play hull down and don't risk a lot because if we get uh, let's say uh penetrated from the hull uh, maybe the crew will be easily uh get injured that's why you try to play it hand down hull down show only your turret and with that we will block our damage and your crew will not get injured and with that the multi-purpose restoration pack only one restoration pack is enough i'm going also for the reactive armor so in some moments when you are washing on someone uh, using adrenaline at the same time you will have a very fast actually reload time you need to do some damage but of course if you are spotted if you are rushing um you are going to get spammed from everywhere and that's good to have the reactive armor to reduce the damage what you are going to receive while rushing on someone that's really very very so that's really very effective and i use it always in my battle and help me a lot to uh, yeah win very critical situations where without the reactive armor and without adrenaline you will struggle a bit all right so now let's check out the armor of this tank and then jump straight to the battlefield well yeah this is our armor staying in front of for example the is4 a tier 10 russian or soviet heavy tank so uh, yeah we got a swung turret nearly unpenetrable for most of the tier 10 heavies and TDs if they are using of course their normal shells and uh, that's why i told you it doesn't make a lot of difference if you go for enhanced armor or not so this is without enhanced armor and this is with enhanced armor so it's really not a big difference okay maybe a bit more uh, of um, armor on the hull but really don't risk it try to play always hull down and show only your turret with this seven degrees of gun depression we can play good hull down because this tank even it's not a lot it's not a 10 degrees or a nine but this this tank got really a very flat armor profile this tank is so flat that actually um it's not big like other tanks and that means even with seven degrees we still have a good gun depression so if for example the is4 will go for um premium shells the turret still it's really very strong okay so we see there are some weak spots try always to show your frontal tower to the enemy like this and it's really very hard to aim on that small green line there or there or there so um i made the experience that i was blocking most of the shots if i was um held down and showing 
only in my turret of course for tier 9 uh, I don't know heavies it will be nearly impossible to penetrate my turret uh, also or a tier in, let's say I don't know let's take for example if you are going to go medium side let's take just a tier 9 uh, light tank for example the object look at this look at this guys even he is using premium shells no chance and that's the strength of this tank remember that this tank got using adrenaline for example got only I don't know something about 6.8 seconds of roll time that means if you go medium side or um, with your teammates and in front of mediums and lights they will have really no chance to penetrate your turrets and you can use that for your advantage to farm a lot of damage and uh, yes yeah, scare or block the mediums on the lights it depends on which situation you're gonna play you can go with a tank whatever heavy or medium side you will be very strong if you play hull down and you will block a lot of damage and of course do your job as a heavy tank to block the enemy front line do uh, spot do do your damage and uh, yeah that's it so now enough talking let's just jump straight to the battlefield i'm gonna show you how to play with this vehicle so the first battle i got for you here with the fv215b gonna be in rockfield and this battle here gonna be really the perfect showcase for this vehicle what can we perform with it and how to play with it so it's gonna be a mix of a lot of damage and also a lot of damage blocks actually better than going for only damage uh, so yeah what i'm doing here is as we can see trying to hide my lower plates behind these rocks i'm in a hull down position and with that the enemy uh, will see only my turret and we saw with the armor inspector that uh, this tank got no armor on his hull on his frontal um, lower plate and upper plate but we got a good uh, armored turret so always show your frontal turret to the enemy and try to hide your frontal armor your plates upper and lower plates and with that we will block a lot and a lot of damage it's gonna be very annoying to the enemy uh, playing like that because they can't pin you um, and also I can just uh, yeah distract them absorbing a lot of damage and at the same time if possible deal some damage some sneaky shots like this roll careful we got an insane gun um, dispersion as we can see here a good accuracy and now I made a mistake I showed my the side of my turret for the WZ 121 and I was directly punished for that because uh, the turret is only unpenetrable if you sew your front turret and not the side okay very 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 important again i'm showing your side for the wz and he used that again he punished me again for my mistake so this tank allows you or this game in general don't allows you doing any mistake if you want to perform good battles you have to know what are you doing you have to know the strength of this vehicle of your vehicle which you are playing with and uh, if you do a mistake especially after playing more than 20k battles there is no more space and uh, possibilities for being lucky or random uh, winning uh, battles randomly because we are playing against all skilled players all of them most of them playing more than 10k battles and also uh, the competition is very strong against those players and they also are waiting for uh, for you doing mistakes okay so it's like a chess game you have always to think about what are you doing and always of course um, Reload your hash shell, carry your hash shell always with you and wait for the opportunity to fire your hash shell because we can deal a lot of damage with a hash shell and we have also a good penetration with your hash shells compared with other heavy tanks. Here we go. Um, the Yacht Panzer E100 is done. So we can penetrate a lot and a lot of uh, vehicles uh, with this tank with hash shells. Even some heavy tanks are easy to be penned with hash shell. Okay, so now I'm trying to face hug the group and with that hoping that look at this he's not even aiming on me because he couldn't penetrate my turret and that's why uh yeah he just tried to aim on somebody else i was face hugging him and it was all red for him no chance to penetrate my turret and with that we won this battle that was yeah one of yeah not the best but one of the best battles that i played with this vehicle till now um correctly played uh, i played better battles with it but i just forgot to save the replay and this battle here 
that was really a compact a compact uh, a combination of all of it what we can do with it uh, from dealing damage from using rehashes and also from playing hull down blocking damage absorbing damage and letting your mediums and your teammates uh, giving them the chance to flank the enemy and with that you are very very effective and useful for your team and for yourself to grind and keep grinding your win rate or whatever what are you doing like me right now are playing rating battles trying to grind my uh, rating points i picked up for you this battle to show you the m importance of using hash shells if it's possible as i told you in the first battle we can uh, penetrate a lot of tanks with hash shells because we got a good hash shell penetration um with this vehicle and um so yeah that means uh, always carry your hash shell and wait for the opportunity to slap an enemy with that hash shell okay very important um be ready to switch very fast it's not easy and um after playing a lot of battles and having the experience you will be able to do it and we will be, you will be also able to know already even without aiming wh where are the weak spots for your enemy to slap them with a hash shell that comes only after playing and playing and trading and playing every day with the experience and now i know i got a standard b i know where to slap him here we go 460 damage then roll back and it's gonna be the same also for the camp Panzer 70 is going to come right now it's a heavy tank but if you know also right there where are the weak spots, you can also slap them with your hash shell and deal a lot of damage. And that, in the end of the day, will make the difference, yeah, having only a third class mastery badge or second, first or ace tanker mastery badge or make also difference um, winning battles or losing battles. Okay, very, very important. I'm right now also keep staying here. I know that the Yachtpanzer E100 waiting for me right there. I just waited till he fired his shot. And for example, it's gonna be useless to try to fire a shot on the Yachtpanzer E100 with your hash shell because you are not going to pen him. Just use your AP shell, your standard shell on his lower plate, or you can also penetrate his turret with your premium shells. Now, he gave up already. The Kampfpanzer 70 is gonna be the next victim. The Kampfpanzer 70 is the best example to show you that we can even penetrate a heavy tank with our hash shell. The first try wasn't that good, that's why I switched again to AP shell, but now I will go out again and he will show me his side, here we go, boom, 510 of damage with a hash shell on a heavy tank. It's possible with this vehicle, we got really an insane penetration with hash shells and that's really very important and something you should know uh, while playing with the LV215B. Yeah, again, win 4.2k of damage, nearly 4.3k of damage, and that's also really possible with this vehicle. You will have plenty of battles like that where we are going to deal more than 4k damage till maybe 5k damage with this vehicle because it's just bees, high TPM, good mobility, good turret, and good hash shells penetration will make the difference and will make this vehicle as a heavy tank one also of the best tier 10 heavies, if of course correctly played. Yeah guys, so uh, we arrived here with this battle to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope I could help you to improve your playstyle with the FV215B with this video. And yeah, if you like it, smash the like button and yeah, comment this video down there below in the comment section and tell me your suggestions, what you want to see next in the next video. See you soon in the next one. Bye bye.